What's up? What's going on, family? Welcome back. And I um, hope everyone's having a good morning, good afternoon, good evening. If you're resting well over here on the uh, on the western coast, you already know. So get your rest. But um, I just thought I'd drop and um, get um, Holy Spirit led me to uh, deliver this message. And um, I feel it correlates with, uh, I, matter of fact, I don't feel, I know for a fact that it correlates with uh, a few of you chosen ones right now in this season, in this very given season. So um, with that being said, first off, I want to say, I want to give thanks to our Heavenly Lord, uh, Father, and our Savior, His Son, Jesus Christ. And I uh, just want to quick say a quick prayer, dear God, um, thank you. Um, for this hour right now, for allowing me um, to deliver this message to um, your audience, to, to to your subscribers. So with that being said, Lord, I just ask that you um, control my tongue and um, ease my mind and flow through me so I could go ahead and easily, smoothly deliver this message in your wonderful, mighty, powerful name. I pray. Amen. Thank you. So, um... First off, also, too, um, right now, I need you to do me a favor and hit the, if you're not subscribed yet, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe. I would appreciate it. If you're a subscriber and coming back, thank you so much. Um, appreciate you for taking the time out to um, listen to this message. So, um, yes. With that being said, all right, in this season, um, there's a certain group of you. Um, that are walking with God again or been, you know, um, back, he, you're tapping back into him. And um, there is, like, I'm going to get straight to it to sum this video up. There is a specific person. I don't know who it is to you, somebody close to you. It could be a family member. It could be a close um, childhood friend until now adulthood. It could be. Um, your significant other, your other half, your girlfriend, your your spouse, what have you, right? There's somebody who um is really being a a blessing blocker, and you don't know how to let this person go, but you are kind of slowly but surely are like in a good way. You know, you only want the best for this person. Just as for yourself, you know, like you really, uh, for real, you care about this person. You love this person, right? But um, it just is what it is. You got to let, let go and let God, period. That's it. Because right now in this season, God has like, um, basically, he, 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 he's he got the coach, the, the nice Carter, the, the, the flyest bus for you decked out that you can imagine. He's at this bus and he's waiting. For his specific chosen ones, right? To get on this bus, to let go of people, places, things, jobs, whatever, whatever it is. Now, I started with saying a person, right? And it is. I'm going to say it is because um, I've been praying for a lot of people that God has uh, brought back into my life that I had relations with in the past. Um, good friendship relationships, right? And um, I've been praying for like he he's just, he, he's blessing me day by day, right? And um, so I, I just been going in, just blessing, just uh, excuse me, praying for a specific group of people, and really more people. Like I try to pray without season and, and come up with a name, but once he puts that person in my head, you know, yeah, pray for him definitely, and he's answering, them, you know. And um, all glory to God, I'm, uh, I just thank him, you know. So with that being said, there's, you know, in order for you to get on this uh, this bus with him and go on this trip and, uh, and for him to unlock these doors and show you, he's going like, to take you on a tour to show you like, yo, if you leave this or them or that, them alone, look what I have for you. You think you're losing something, but you, you're not. Get it out of your head, okay? What he has for you, you couldn't even imagine, period. I'm going to keep this short, but yeah. They say it's easier said than done, but honestly, think about it. You're a good person. You have a tremendous heart. You have your faith in the Lord. 
You know, he is, he, he protects you. He gets you up every day. He feeds you. He clothes you. Like, you know, you get love everywhere you go, pretty much. But not in them places that you want, right? Everywhere else you get love, but you're not getting it where you feel you're deserving or where you're giving it, right? Don't worry about that. He loves you first, number one, right? And number two, that love that you don't get, that you've been given, that's not being reciprocated, you get it once you walk out those doors. Facts, period. You know it. And if you haven't given it a try, I mean, love him. Start loving yourself. Secondly, and A, you have to um, cut places, people, and things off. Period. That aren't loving you back. You know, and I won't say love, just treating you kind or that that's not that's not sitting well in your spirit, you know, period. Because God represents love. So if it's not good for you, you got to cut it out, yo, and pray, pray over it. And I feel you've been, I don't feel, I know you've been praying for a while now about this. Like, give me a sign, give me a sign, give me a sign. And he's giving you signs. He's giving you signs. You know, he's giving you signs. He's like, okay. But still, but it's okay. Because he's being patient with you. He's waiting for you. And he's going to work on that on that other situation. But you need to let that situation go. Because it is a roadblock to the blessings, to the doors he's ready to unlock for you. That's my message. Thank you, Lord. That was smooth. Um, yeah. So you already know. Subscribe. Comment. A. Like. All that good stuff. I appreciate y'all. And hey, in Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. God bless each and every one of y'all. Peace.